Now, with Japan marking the seventh anniversary on Sunday of a deadly earthquake and tsunami that killed more than 15,000 people and triggered a nuclear meltdown, the area itself is still struggling to get back on its feet, even all these years later. Lee Sung Jae reports. March 11th, 2011, at 2.46 p.m., a magnitude 9.0 earthquake the biggest ever recorded in Japan's history and one of the five most powerful earthquakes recorded in the world struck off the coast of Miyagi Prefecture. The deadly tsunami that followed killed more than 15,000 people and triggered a nuclear meltdown at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear plant, rendering most of the surrounding areas uninhabitable. Fast forward seven years, and although reconstruction has steadily progressed, more than 70,000 people remain displaced still living in temporary housing. Some areas surrounding the nuclear plant continue to be too dangerous due to high radiation, and the decommissioning of the crippled reactors remain a problem for operators. It's a task that's likely to take decades and cost tens of billions of dollars. To mark the anniversary, Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, along with Prince Akishino and Princess Kiko, took part in a ceremony in central Tokyo while a moment of silence was observed throughout the nation at 2.46 p.m., the time when the disaster changed the lives of tens of thousands of people. Meanwhile, despite concerns over seafood contamination from Fukushima Prefecture, Thailand has become the first country to receive a shipment of fresh fish from the area, as a 110-kilogram shipment of fresh flounder was exported there late last month. This comes after the World Trade Organization upheld a Japanese complaint against South Korean import bans and additional testing requirements on Japanese seafood due to the Fukushima nuclear disaster, as Seoul vowed to appeal the ruling and keep the ban in place. Despite becoming the first country to import seafood from Fukushima, Thai consumers remain concerned as the shipment was meant to be served in sushi and sashimi dishes at a dozen Japanese restaurants in Bangkok. Lee Seung-jae, Arirang News.